Welcome to the University of Michigan Dentistry Podcast Series, promoting oral health care worldwide. This is a Whipmix power mixer with a vacuum attachment. This can be used to mix investments or model plaster and is sometimes found in the dental office. This particular machine has two gears down in the lower end of the machine. The one in the back has a friction grip clutch which can be used to mix investments of certain types. The clutch in the front is a mechanical clutch which is used for mixing uh, the model plaster. The machine itself must be tested uh, for a vacuum to be sure that the vacuum hose is not clogged. To do this, we turn the machine on and with no uh, restriction of the hose, the gauge should read 10. When I place my finger over the hose, the gauge should go up to 30. I will demonstrate this. With no restriction on the hose, as we see, the gauge reads 10. Placing my finger over the end of the hose causes the vacuum to activate and we have a reading of 30 on the gauge. At times it may be necessary to mix a large amount of dental plaster in the dental office. This can be accomplished by using a large mixing vessel such as this, which will accommodate approximately 900 grams of dental plaster. In conjunction with this, a mixing uh, spatula is used with the vacu spat made by Whitmix. And this device has a number of blades which fits into the, the mixing uh, vessel. Important in this spatula is the O-ring, which uh, comes into contact with the mixing vessel. This O-ring should be lubricated to provide a seal so that a vacuum may be established during mixing. Thus, after use, it is necessary to clean this and make sure that no investment or plaster remains along the O-ring. As you recall, the vacuum spat comes with a mechanical clutch and a friction clutch. In this case, we're going to use a mechanical clutch, and as you see, it's notched, and this notch must be inserted in the mechanical clutch of the vacuum spat. The procedure for mixing is to add the water to the mixing vessel, then to add the powder, and wet the powder particles using a stiff spatula. Once this is done, the uh, uh, spatula may be placed into the mixing vessel. Once we have mixed the, uh, in the plaster, we can then proceed to place it into a base former for mounting our models. This is a type of base former that will be used in the clinic. It is pink in color and rather stiff. A newer type of uh, base former has been introduced on the market, is blue in color, is somewhat wider than the pink model, and is more flexible. I will now make a mix of Snow White model plaster number one uh, and demonstrate vacuum mixing of this material. We'll first add water to the mixing vessel, and I'm using 135 cc's of water. And to this, I'm going to add 300 grams of powder. If you'll notice, 300 grams of powder in a normal mixing bowl comes almost to the top, about 3 fourths of an inch from the top. And as you can imagine, this is rather difficult to mix by hand in such a small bowl. We'll add the powder to the water. And then using the hand spatula, we'll wet the powder particles prior to mixing with the vacuum spatula.
We're now ready to vacuum mix this plaster, and first we'll add the vacuum hose to the insert on top of the mechanical mixer. We'll now turn the machine on, uh, engage the clutch, and mix for 30 seconds. If you'll notice, the vacuum gauge is reading almost 30, which indicates a good vacuum. Now that we have mixed this for 30 seconds, we'll disengage the clutch and vibrate to get the material down from the side of the can. Disengaging the vacuum. We're now ready to, va to vibrate the mixed plaster into the base former. As you can see, this has a thick consistency, and a vibrator should be used to ensure that no air bubbles are incorporated into the mix. Now that we have filled the base former, we are ready to insert the model. You've been listening to a presentation from the University of Michigan School of Dentistry, which is dedicated to supporting open learning and open educational resources. This recording is licensed under the Creative Commons. It may be reused and redistributed for nonprofit use. Please attribute materials to the University of Michigan School of Dentistry and redistribute under this same license. For more information on how this and other University of Michigan School of Dentistry recordings may be used, visit www.dent.umich.edu slash license.